follows is a look back at the progress of the Thunderbolts project as of the 2018 year end. Since the inception of the Thunderbolts project in 2012, we've experienced substantial and continuous growth, emerging as the leading voice of the Electric Universe movement. The many testaments to our growth would include five full-length documentaries, all emphasizing the extraordinary role of the electric force in the natural world. Well over 300 episodes of the highly rated video series Space News from the Electric Universe. The popular Thunderbolts picture of the day, or teapod, under the guidance of editor Stephen Smith, offering wide-ranging factual and visual support of the Electric Universe. 39 episodes of the series Discourses on an Alien Sky, exploring the extraordinary natural events from which the ancient myth-making epoch arose. And several international conferences sponsored by the Thunderbolts Project to bring together leading innovators in both the sciences and in the study of the ancient cultures. Also of interest to followers of the Thunderbolts Project, we should note the independently organized ongoing experiment called the Sapphire Project, exploring electric discharge patterns in the laboratory as possible corollaries to enigmatic features of the sun and other bodies in space. As we settle into the new year, this is also a good time to reflect on the great surprises in space as one discovery after another reinforces the core tenets of the electrical paradigm. Consider, for example, the recent findings in our own solar system, where new discoveries have overturned long-standing beliefs about planetary origins and about comets, meteors, and asteroids, even throwing into doubt many popular teachings about the Sun at the center of the system. According to electrical theorist Wal Thornhill and others, comets are not the assumed leftovers of a solar system formed from gravitational collapse and accretion billions of years ago. Comets, along with great multitudes of asteroids, meteoroids, and other cosmic debris, were torn from planetary surfaces by powerful electric discharge in a prior, more violent phase of solar system history. With the broad field of evidence now in front of us, the comet provides ideal opportunities to test key tenets of the electric universe paradigm. The truth is that close-up images of comet nuclei have revealed rocky, desiccated surfaces, exactly as anticipated by electrical theorists. We now know that these bodies bear no resemblance at all to the dirty snowballs of traditional comet theory. In fact, the recently published scientific papers on the Rosetta mission to Comet 67P continue to confirm the predictions of the electric comet model. As we reported last year, comet specialists now acknowledge that 67P cannot be billions of years old, as was commonly believed, it also seems clear that the double lobes and rocky terrain of 67P not only present insurmountable problems for a theoretical model once considered unassailable, tellingly many astronomers now suggest a remarkable collision of two such many skill bodies across millions of miles, placing an exclamation point on the improbability of the underlying claim. If Electric Universe proponents are correct, the most fundamental scientific mistake in our time has been the exclusion of the electric force from events in space. In the 19th and 20th centuries, the blind assumption of cosmic neutrality affected the field of view within all of the space sciences. According to Thornhill and others, it was this intellectual confinement that prevented space scientists from seeing the electric force at work in the discharge activity of comets. And yet, as telescopes have expanded our view to thousands of exoplanetary systems, or planets outside the solar system, nothing we have found is consistent with today's popular theory of cometary origins. The traditional nebular hypothesis suggests that comets were born billions of years ago in an imagined diffuse cloud of gas and dust, the very cloud from which stars are claimed to have been born. 
It was from that ideological foundation, the nebular hypothesis, that not only comet science, but all of the planetary sciences emerged over the past century. More recently, however, the entire ideological framework has been shattered by the surprising discovery of abundant planetary systems with so-called hot Jupiters or gas giants bizarrely located in seemingly impossible proximity to their parent stars. In response to this surprise, astronomers now routinely point to evidence for large-scale planetary migration, a radical departure from traditional theory. In the scenario most recently offered, theorists suggest that the gas giants Jupiter and Saturn formerly acted as so-called wrecking balls, plowing through the inner solar system to destroy the planetary order in its earlier evolutionary phase. Of course, this conjecture, if accurate, could only add support to the radical claim of today's electrical theorists that chaos formerly reigned in the solar system not just billions of years ago as now proposed, but extending into much more recent times to powerfully affect all of humanity. The result of such developments in the theoretical sciences has been a remarkable convergence of the electric universe movement with new perspectives on the origins of ancient thought. We are confident that those who investigate this convergence will find the doors opening to an unprecedented synthesis of ancient experience and modern science, with a host of wonders and surprises along the way.